Hi, I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to assign slices to specific keys on the Zepto core. It's quite easy to do using the sample tool. To pull up the tool, go to the Zepto core website or use the offline tool. Click on the wrench or scroll down and click sample tool. And then here you can just create a new one. We'll do stirring black tarantula. And what we're going to do now is add in samples. And when we add them in, we want them to be as one single slice. Um, by default, it's going to try to separate it into slices that it automatically finds. So we can turn that default mode off by using this new um, parameter here, drop audio file mode, we'll switch default to one shot. And now everything we drop in here will have a single slice. So for example, let's make a drum set. We will add in some kicks. So I'll just add in one kick for now. And you can see when we click on it, it's automatically a one shot and it's automatically a single slice. Uh, if you don't have this mode on, sometimes it may slice it up a little more, but for what we're doing now, we want everything to be one slice. So let's go ahead and add everything else. So I'll just highlight all of them. It's going to be in a kind of a weird order. We'll drop them in there. So now we have, we have all of these instruments. Here is a symbol cool riser and what we're going to do now is merge these into a single sample where every one of these things is assigned to a single key so 16 keys so you could have up to 16 samples so we go select none select all merge selected files wait a second and then here we go at the bottom we have a new file but we actually want to remove these we don't want these anymore so we'll remove selected and now we're left with this new one called key blue marvel which has separated out all of those one shots into a new single sample. So we have 16 slices and each one of these, since there's 16 buttons, will be assigned to each key. You can have more than 16 slices. It just means that it'll have to go through the first 16 to have the other 16 become available to the keys. So this is a nice drum set. For a drum set, I'm going to turn one shot mode on and tempo matching off so that it will always play at these pitches at any tempo. Now let's do a kind of a different um, sample and we'll have like a, a generative piano sample. So I'm going to go here and again, load in some samples. So I have all of these piano samples. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy all of them. This is in a specific scale, the C Dorian scale. So I just selected ones in a scale that I like. So now I have all of these piano samples. And since we're still in one shot mode, you can see each one of them is a single slice. And that's exactly what I want. I want all of those slices to be on the key. So we're going to select all again, and we're going to unselect this one that we made. We don't want that one to be incorporated. And we're going to merge all these other 16 together. We hit merge and then we got a new sample here. We can delete these other ones, remove selected. And then this one now, we have all of these piano sounds. And it's pretty long piano sounds, so this is like two minutes of audio, but um, we can just jump between them when we have them on their keys. So the fun thing here is actually, I don't want one shot mode. I want these to jump from key to key when it plays. And so I do want tempo matching on and I'm going to put the source BPM to like maybe 120 or something. Um, actually, maybe tempo matching would be off. So it saves the pitches of these keys. So we'll never change the pitch. It'll just change how fast it jumps between them. And the speed it jumps between them is actually determined here. Pulses per slice. So they're by default, each slice is um, usually like 96, which ends up being a 16th note. So 192 parts per pulses per quarter note. So if you want these to be quarter notes, we can just write in 192 here. If you want them to be eighth notes when they play, you can write in 96. Um, if you write in, you can write in any number you want. So you can actually have them play at some very strange time signatures if you want to. Um, but I'll just make them quarter notes for now. So I'll put in 192. One shot mode's off, tempo matching's off, so that one's all good. And we have our drum set here, which is one shot mode is on, tempo matching off. Okay, all good. So now we just hit download. 
and it will process for a few seconds. If you're using the offline tool, it'll be easier because it'll be faster to download. And now we've downloaded it. Go to our downloads. And here we go. We just unzip it, extract. And I'm going to copy bank zero into the Zepto core. Um, and if you don't want to erase everything that you have, we only have the first two slots. You can just copy those. And then in the Zepto core, we can go to our bank zero and we can just replace them by pasting them. And we want to replace all. So apply all, replace everything with our new samples. So it's going to go through and replace them with the new samples. And then we can put them on the Zepto core and try them out. All right, so we loaded in the samples onto the SD card here. So our first bank and first sample is gonna be that drum set we made. So this is it. Sounds great. Cool. Um, so all those 16 keys are associated with each of the 16 samples that we added in and we merged together in the sample tool. The second sample of this bank is going to be the piano. So we can go to that. And then this one is not one shot mode. So as soon as we hit a key, it will start playing through those samples. It's a little fast tempo, so let's slow it down. And it's just going through the in order that I put them in, which is kind of a random order. Um, and now we can do that kind of fun generative stuff where you press these four buttons and now we enter RAN mode and we'll do a RAN mode of four steps and let's add some reverb and now if we press B and hold B and press A we can change this pattern slowly If we hold A and tap B, we can make it go a little faster. Yeah, that's how to easily put slices of samples onto the 16 keys.